number five, Virginia Anderson. To the Minister of Justice, what announcements has he made regarding recent concerns about the handling of reported allegations of sexual harassment at the Human Rights Commission? The Honourable Andrew Little. You, Mr Speaker, yesterday I announced a review of the Human Rights Commission's culture, governance, management practices, policies and procedures for handling internal sexual harassment complaints under Section 132 of the Crown Entities Act 2004. This review will be led by former Employment Court Judge Coral Shaw. Why is it important to have an independent review of the Human Rights Commission regarding this matter? Mr Speaker, public confidence in the Human Rights Commission is paramount. As an organisation whose functions include promoting awareness about discrimination and harassment, as well as advising on sexual harassment claims, they must be an exemplar of best practice. Also, a review under the Crown Entities Act respects the independence that the Commission has afforded under legislation and under the Paris Principles. Why is it important that the Human Rights Commission is an exemplar of best practice when handling sexual harassment complaints? Mr Speaker, a function of the Human Rights Commission is handling sexual harassment complaints. However, the standards of the Commission should be the same as any other employer in this country, and that is that sexual harassment is not tolerated and complaints are managed fairly and appropriately. Question number six, the Honourable Louise Upston. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Uh, to the Minister of Employment. As he stand